Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mention Tutorial. So today in my video, I would like to share you some of the important mainframe interview questions which are being asked. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and start. So first of all, I would like to tell about the important interview questions about the JCL and how the interviewer asks and what is the response we need to give when they ask these kind of questions. The first question is like uh, write a JCL to execute a job by 7 a.m. on Jan 20, 1986 or some other date. So the response for this kind of question would be like the code is like stars forward slash star main deadline equal to zero seven double zero zero one two zero eight okay or else you can give another response like uh, this is the job card below to this you have to set the system date as 20 20 january 01 and 86 is the 1986 and set the system time as zero seven double zero double zero that's it now the JCL will be executed at 7 a.m. on Jan 20, 1986. This is the wo this is what you need to give a response. So, what does the time parameter signify, and what does a time 1440 means? The answer to this question would be the time parameter can be used to overcome S322 ABIN for programs that genuinely need more CPU time. Time equal to 1440 means no CPU time limit. It is to be applied to this step. So what happens is sometime there will be a set of job which require a more and more time. So some jobs will be running for hours and hours. So in that time you need in that state you need to set the time to 1440. So it means that CPU time is allocated as an unlimited and the job runs long uh, for a long time so this is mainly used for a, uh, for a job which is ru running for a long time what does the time parameter signify and th this is the second answer I can give you the time parameter specify the CPU time utilized for the entire job if the job exceeds the specified time then the S3 error won't occur so in order to avoid this thing so 1440 it means a 24 hours so what is the time parameter again the third answer specify the maximum CPU execution time permitted for the job if actual CPU execution time ex exceeds value specified in the time parameter job will fail with S322 aban formats are time equal to minutes comma seconds you can declare in any way time equal to minutes time equal to seconds time equal to 1440 no limit seconds can be in the range from 0 to 59 so if you want to set your own time so these are the different formats we can use 1440 means 24 hours time equal to no limit means there is no limit given to this so so these are the three different kinds of answers you can give whenever an interviewer asks what does the time parameter signify and what does time 1440 means okay next important question would be like how to execute a set of JCL statements from a COBOL program there are a set of JCL statements where you want to execute those JCL statements through a COBOL program the best answer would be like using exec CICS pool write var name and end exec command exec CICS pool write var name and exec command this is the one where var name is a COBOL host variable host structure containing JCL statements and another method is we can do this by sysout star intrdr internal reader concept so these are the two ways where we can execute a set of uh, JCL statements from a COBOL program so another important question would be like what are the causes for SOC1, SOC4, SOC5, SOC7 and SOCB events uh, so for this I have given a I'll be giving a good answers for this so SOC 1 may be the first one may be uh, missing or misspelled DD name and second one will be read or write to unopened data sets and third would be read to data sets open output and the fourth one like 
write to data set open input or called sub program not found so these are the main big reasons uh, for the SOC 1 have been and uh, for the SOC 4 maybe due to missing select statement during compile uh, bad subscript or index uh, protection exception missing parameter on call sub program read or write to unopened file move data from to unopened file SOC 5 this reason for SOC 5 is bad subscript or index closing an unopened data set bad exit from perform access to IO area b uh, FD before read and what are the reasons for SOC 7 numeric operations on numeric data uninitialized working storage coding past the maximum allowed subscript SOC B may be due to 1 division by 0 so these are the various reasons for the different SOC events so these are I think this would give you the best answer when an interviewer asks you these kind of questions so next question is what is the maximum number of DD statements in a job answer I think this is 3273 DD statements we can specify in a single step and in a job we can specify 255 steps it means 3273 into 255 DD statements is possible right so these are this is also one of the important questions which we asked by the interviewers so next one how do you check the syntax of a JCL without running it so the best answer is type run equal to scan on the job card or use jscan and another method is uh, you can also use ejck command before you run the job this will check the JCL syntax error right and another question is uh, how much is memory space involved when we code block size track and cylinders so the best answer would be one block constitutes 32 KB of formatted memory or 42 KB of unformatted memory six blocks make one track and 15 tracks makes one cylinder so this would give you the best answer to an interviewer so what is this equal to new pass delete yes this is also one of the important question which has been asked regularly by an interviewer when he whenever he's asking for the JCL that is what is this equal to new pass delete so the answer would be this is a new file and create it if the step terminates normally pause it to subsequent step and if it's uh, if steps are been deleted this data sets will exist beyond the JCL so I hope uh, you got a few important uh, questions that will be asked during an interview. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, share or comment this on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.